At this point, we loaded our audio file and we applied a transformation to go from the time domain to the frequency domain. And using the constant Q transform, we can map the frequencies that we calculated into musical notes. Yeah, so for example, it can look like this. At this, we have uh, the notes. And here we have our transform our representation, uh, frequency representation is a time frequency representation uh, of the audio file we imported. But before we get there, we need another thing. So we know the frequencies, but we also need to know when each musical event happens. And let's, let's make it very similar. We need to, to find out where the note starts. And there is, um, in a music information retrieval and in audio, it's called an onset detection. Yeah? If you go to the musicinformationretrieval.com, they also have a tutorial on onset detection. So they explain uh, some uh, techniques on how to uh, detect where the musical notes happen. Yeah? So, uh, in general, it, it calculates a, novelty, a spectral novelty function and it finds the peaks uh, and this tells you where the nodes start. And it's much more complicated than that, but uh, let's think that it's, it's a way to find um, when the nodes take place. So, we already have our frequency representation, our time frequency representation using Librosa CQT transform. So now we need to calculate an onset envelope. Yeah, this, uh, this is a spectral function uh, from the constant Q transform. So I'm defining here an onset envelope using the Librosa onset strength formula. So I'm passing the CQT that we calculated previously. And this will return me this, this onset uh, strength envelope. From this onset strength envelope, we need to calculate to, to, to obtain the onsets itself. So it will uh, search peaks and will uh, give us uh, the times where the, the musical event takes place. So these two functions, there are I'm using here to calculate this onset. Yeah, let's. You should read about onset detection. It's like the beginning of uh, the musical note. So um, it's an interesting theory behind it. There is some um, tutorial on music information retrieval uh, retrieval.com by Karma. It's um, so. For example, in my case here. I am plotting this uh, red, uh, this black lines. It's uh, the times that are calculated when the node starts. So at this point, we have a um, plot that is showing me on the um, in this axis we have the nodes, yeah, which are musical nodes. So it's the it's a mapping from frequency, uh, the center center frequency of music notes to the name of the notes, and on this axis here we have the time, and all the uh, black lines are where each node should start. What I did is I had an intuition of the initial uh, parameters, and then I'm using this visualization to adjust here so i would like the, the onset start uh, on the where the notes are stronger and uh, i would like to clean a bit because now the algorithm still don't know which note to take yeah because for example during this interval this time interval we have all these frequencies present but we would like to take just this one here. 
Uh, so later on, we will have to create a function that will inspect the frequencies inside this time interval and uh, somehow we'll decide which note, which, free, which center frequency of a musical note to take and give it a duration. Yeah, so uh, we've seen, we loaded the audio, we calculated from time to, to time frequency representation, so we have an axis with the time and another axis with frequencies that we are mapping to musical notes. We are having this uh, graphical user interface here that you can have a look at how I, I created. So we can fine tune, we can adjust the parameters to try to get a clear view of which... So it seems okay, it seems that uh, it makes sense that the duration is well set here and this is a well-defined frequency. So this is uh, the end of this step, yeah, onset detection.